Hi there. This video is just going to be a brief reminder on the resources that are available in the resources section. So I mentioned each of these as we went through, but just as a quick refresher, you've got all of these visual illusions, um, so including an explanation for that dress viral photo, uh, explained both in words and in a kind of cartoon form. There are some cool TED Talks on illusions that go through illusions and talk about the the processing behind them, uh, and then lots of the specific illusions that were shown in the videos, uh, and just lots and lots of general illusions because they're a lot of fun to look at. There are new illusions created every year, so you can see some of the winners and vote for winners on this year's contest at this Illusion of the Year contest. And that's the illusion section. Next, we have the attention demos. So you might remember the video where there are basketball players uh, passing a ball back and forth, and there's also a gorilla that one runs through the scene. That's the monkey business illusion, or rather a person in a giant gorilla suit goes through the scene. Uh, the change blindness examples, there are dozens and dozens of these online. So here are links to a few of them, including the specific ones that were shown in the video. And then uh, the Posner Q demo, which will also have another version of that in the psychophysics resources. Psychophysics resources, so this is the specific uh, central and peripheral Q demo that I showed in the psychophysics module, and it gives you all the instructions on exactly what you need to do to run it, how to adjust the timing. And then probably most importantly, as far as covering much more detail than I was able to in the videos, is this neurophysiology resource section. So these are all on the Backyard Brains website, so the people who make the the equipment that allows you to record from neurons have some teacher's guides to different experiments and also some illustrated background material that goes with each. So let me follow one of those links to the microstimulation experiment. So here's the Backyard Brains website and their teacher's guide for microstimulation experiments. Uh, so they've got much more detailed how-to, uh, all the equipment you'll need. They also have a list of the next generation science standards and common core standards that would be fulfilled by this lesson plan, so I know that's handy. Uh, some background information, details on the setup and exactly what you're going to do, troubleshooting, uh, and some ideas on data collection and discussion questions. So this is, website is a really good resource if you are using those spiker box or muscle spiker box tools. And then lastly, we have some uh, patient videos, so just links to videos that are available on YouTube. Uh, so there are some videos interviewing patients with medial temporal lobe damage and enterograde amnesia. So that's great for talking about the different types of memory and how only some of them rely on the hippocampus. Uh, there's some good videos talking to neglect patients, so that's where you ignore, are ignoring half of your uh, sensory world, and some electrical stimulation, so including people who are awake during brain surgery, and this idea of using electrical stimulation to test the function of brain tissue uh, before you remove a tumor, for example. That's it. I hope these resources are helpful to you, and that you'll be able to incorporate some neuroscience in your classroom in the future.